Hi everyone, welcome to Unnightly. So this is a stealth game, so I'm gonna go hide in the shadows over here, away from the light. And I'm moving around with sliding locomotion, which they just added, where you can just move in the direction your controller's facing. Control your speed so you make less sound by moving your thumb down the mouse pad, or the uh, touchpad, I mean. And then you can actually climb up walls in this game, which is really cool. So I'll just camp out here, deploy my knife, bam! Aerial stealth kill. And then I can pick up the corpse, drag him wherever I want, throw him into this pit. That way his buddies won't see him and get suspicious. Because if you get spotted by a guard, then there's no running away, there's no fighting him off, you just have to start over from your last checkpoint. So you have to be very, very sneaky. So I'm just gonna cling onto this wall, not make any noise. I cannot do the same knife trick on this guy because he is being smart and wearing a helmet. And helmets save lives. So I'm just gonna wait for him to turn around, walk back the way he came from, and then I'll drop down. And see it made a thud, which alerted him. So now, slowly climb back up here and not make any noise. Just be very careful about the noise that you make, which is really cool. Now, this is just an early access game that recently came out, although they did recently have their first major patch. I think it came out like a week ago, and they already added sliding locomotion. And it's already a fairly complex and just really fun game. Okay, so I'm being a lot more careful when I sit down on the floor this time. And I can actually swap up the locomotion to the original method, which was arm swinger. So I can just swing my arms, the speed I swing them determines... Oh god. <laughs> Let's go frantic swinging to get away, back into the shadows. And then you swing them very slowly to move slowly and make hardly any noise. And you can also crouch down, which makes you move even slower. So it's a cool mix of various locomotion techniques as well as taking into account your room scale positioning. Okay, go, 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 go. Into the shade. And I'm going to grab... Set up a little cache of logs over here. The logs are very useful because you can throw them and they make noise. And the guards go investigate that noise. They don't come looking for you in your little hidey hole. Okay. Yeah, go get that. Okay, they're all investigating. Ooh, that's not actually the best spot because it brought them closer to me. Give me this. Okay, back up, back up. Oh, that's a good one. Oh no. Oh my god. He's like, what's up with this wall, man? Okay. I'm slowly moving away, like as slow as I possibly can. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's what I should have done in the first place. Okay, get in the water. Okay, okay. Okay, I just gotta run across this light now. Come on, come on. Okay, perfect. Kind of coming back. I'm just going to stay in the shade, let the scar pass me by, and then when he's on the tail end of his patrol pattern, oh god, he... No, no, no. That's just his reflection in the water. I thought he had, like, stumbled upon the corpse. Okay. So he's moving on, and now I can move on to this glowing circle. Go, go, go. Freedom. Which gives me a checkpoint. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I made it to the checkpoint. Now we got two soldiers here with no helmets on. Rookie mistake. It's actually easier to assassinate people with trackpad locomotion because so you don't have to be swinging your arms. Uh oh, I can actually hear that, okay. Show yourself. Okay. What was okay. that? They heard me, but I'm just gonna attack them now. 
All right, that was a very efficient assassination. So I'm just gonna leave their corpses there and move on through. But yeah, I'm using regular trackpad locomotion. I can forget about the arm swinging. They've locked me away in Ward D, the most heavily guarded of the dungeons. They say no one ever gets out of Ward D and lives to tell the tale. Everyone except for me. Oh shit, okay, that is a friggin' armored knight. I gotta be careful. He's reading the lore as well. It's like, damn straight, no one's ever gotten out of D. So I need a blue key to open that door. This guy's not wearing a helmet. Show yourself. Ah! Alright. Oh god. Let's move him. Like right there. Oh my god, there are like so many guys. So. There is a waypoint there, but I'm kind of scared. I'm just going to go this way. Alright, I know that that armored knight is around here somewhere, but we got some logs here. Oh, they're having a little conversation. Okay, with the light. It's cool how you see these little light meters and sound meters. So you can tell just how exposed you are. I can like hear my character's heart beating as well. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Over there, over that way. Okay, I don't even know if you heard that. It was like such a good throw. Ha, <laughs> ha, that door. He was really jostling it, damn. It's a very responsive door. Okay, so this guy has a key. Uh oh. That's how you have to do it. You just have to make one clean slice on them. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. The key in my pocket. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, the door just saved my ass. I just like warped him into another dimension. Because <laughs> I swear he was about to come up and see me. Okay, does he see the corpse? It's so dark I can't even see. I hear him. Okay, I'm making too much noise. I'm just gonna get down. Okay, I think I got away with that murder. I don't know where this armor guy is. <laughs> okay. Now I got my key. Look at this checkpoint. Hug the wall. You can actually jump. Oh! Get the checkpoint. Okay, and I'll just hide behind this barrel. This it's such a cool game. Like this, this uh, type of game works so well in VR. So it's really cool to see that uh, this developer is giving it like a serious shot. I'm really enjoying this this early access so far. You know, just the one campaign level. Uh oh. And the tutorial. The tutorial is really good because this is a complex game and the tutorial explains it really well while taking you through basically another level. Okay. So, <laughs> we're gonna sneak behind these barrels. Okay, I need to like orient myself here. Cause I'm about to have to just bust out on these guys. <sighs> Man. <laughs> This is scary, like, I don't know if I can just assassinate five plus guys without being seen. I'm gonna try. Oh, I got them! <laughs> but, since they saw me, even though I killed them, I have to go back to the checkpoint. Luckily, the checkpoint's right here. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. Get low. Sneakily get in here. Now this is actually what I really love about the combat system, is that instead of like most VR combat games where you're just kinda like 
hacking and slashing away at an enemy until they die. In this one, it's just like you have to make one fast, accurate strike to their head, and you'll kill them. And if you miss, <laughs> you fail, and you have to try again. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to take out these two guys and then hide behind the table. And then hope I can get the jump on the rest of them. Or just hide and they don't see me. Who is that? Anybody Show there? yourself. Okay, okay. One last guy. Yes! Okay. There might be some more out behind the gate. It looks like we've got a pretty sweet feast going on here. Oh, I'm in the light. Now, I don't think I'm even going to bother moving the corpses around, although if I wanted I could create like a human centipede of dead guards here. I really own them. I'd rather just get in on these chicken legs or turkey legs. No, no, no. the table gets pushed away by anti-clipping. It's like your fat belly push pushing away all the holiday food. Give it to me. Okay. Massive. Rubber. Oh shit, I'm like knocking cups off the table. Alright. I gotta get back to being stealthy. I was just really excited about killing all those guards. Okay. This one guy didn't hear any of the commotion. He's just chilling, staring off into space by the fire. I can respect that. Okay, I'm gonna make a little more noise, because he seems to notice. Here he comes. Let's get ready. Yep. <laughs> it's a really cool combat system. Just because I've always been disappointed by a lot of the melee games where you just spam your weapons into the enemies and they take like five more hits to kill. And it's like, ah. Uh, not feel amazing. These doors, though. <laughs> the doors need some work, but overall, this game is awesome. It's an early access game. Or, uh, they call it, like, an open beta, I think. Let's see what this lore says. Whoever conspired to put me down here did not want me to see the light of day again. Perhaps the old man has become paranoid about someone exposing his true face. Bum, bum, bum! And, of course, I get totally disoriented while playing this game. <laughs> That's the sign of a really cool, immersive game, anyways, though. Okay. This guy is wearing a helmet, so I gotta be careful. This is pretty cool, though. I've never been this far. So the first campaign level is pretty substantial. I'm liking it so far. I wish I had a log right now. Logs are damn useful. Okay. This prisoner is interesting. I wonder if I can get in there. It's probably locked. Yeah, it's locked. I feel like killing this guy right here would draw a lot of attention, so I probably should not do it. Hmm. Just stick to the shadows. Most everyone is not wearing a helmet. Oh, this, this one armored knight is, though. So we just have to wait for him, and then I can go slaughter town on these guys. Standing up puts me in the light. Oh, the candlelight, of course. Okay, he's just warming himself by the fire. Man, this is an intense room. I do not know how I'm gonna get through here. Okay, he's, he's 
pretty far away. Oh, they got me. They got me. <laughs> Sucker. Okay. So I don't know how long this level goes, but this has just been a taste of Unnightly. I mean, I think I've already said most of what needs to be said about this game. It's an early access game, but it's a really high quality early access game, a lot better than a lot of the early access stuff that we get served to on Steam VR these days. Uh, it's a unique game. I haven't seen any like really cool stealth games like this since like the Budget Cuts demo, and that was a long, long time ago, but also was like really cool. So this playstyle really works. They did a great job with the control scheme with the different locomotion methods. Can I just like crawl up the wall right here? Yeah. Maybe that's how I do it. I keep, <laughs> I keep forgetting the climbing. Oh. Uh-oh. What was that? I don't think I can climb through there. Surprise! Bam! Alright. GG me. I'm gonna have to pound my head against this room a little bit to figure out how to get through, but it's really cool that this game has such interesting stealth puzzles already as an early, early access title. A lot of times we expect uh, them to be very, like, messy and lacking content, but I was actually impressed with this game, so definitely check it out if you think this genre looks cool, if you like this genre on regular gaming, like the Thief games, then you probably like this, but I played Thief games, I didn't think they were all that amazing on regular PC, but this game I actually think is really, really fun, and it just works so well in VR, because you, like, being able to see the scale and, like, the distance of these massive guards just, like, walking by you while you're, like, huddling up against the wall, like, oh my god, please don't see me. And then the combat system where you have to, like, get in there and just, like, you only have one shot to just shove your blade in the guy's face, and then the next guy, and if you don't do it, or if you miss, or if you're too slow, they'll see you, and it won't even matter if you kill them, you'll just die. So overall, really like this game. Check it out uh, if it looks interesting to you. And check out my channel if you want to see more virtual reality gameplay content. Please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for watching this video. Have a great day, and goodbye. Bam! Oh, get off there, yeah! Okay. Trying to sneak up on me? Ooh, off with your hat. This guy's got a huge hammer, but... <laughs> Oh, still alive. There we go.